Good evening and welcome to this edition of News Leader on 6. Today is Tuesday, March the 17th, 2015. I'm Jim Fuller. And I'm Andrew Todd. In tonight's news, a Winchester woman is dead following a home invasion and shooting incident in Bedford County. The Manchester Fire Chief submitted his resignation on Monday. Tennessee tax collection again exceeded expectations in February. We'll bring you video from the health fair held at Northgate Mall on Saturday. John Gray will have a report on what I like about Tullahoma celebration, and we'll speak with retiring Montlow College President Dr. Mary Lou Apple. We'll have all these stories and more on tonight's News Leader on 6. I'm Philip Bourne, Stamina Detail Shop Manager. Here are a few things our customers have to say about our service. I always recommend Stan McNabb Detail Shop to all of my friends. I'm always so impressed by how quickly they can return your vehicle back to you. It's always spotless and I'm always very impressed. Spotless, clean, I was really amazed. It looks like a brand new car when I get it back. We have several different packages and individual services to get your vehicle looking like new again. We're located just behind Stan McNabb Chevrolet dealership. Call today, schedule an appointment, and see what a difference our detail can make. We are Goody Two Scoops. I love Goody Two Scoops. A family-friendly, yummy dessert specialty shop in Tullahoma, Tennessee. We excel in self-serve frozen treats and our own incredibly tasty chef-baked creations. For frozen treat lovers, we offer frozen yogurt, ice cream custard, as well as gelato and Italian ice. 85 flavors that rotate each day. 55 toppings including fresh sliced fruit. For our baked good lovers, Goody Two Scoops offers a variety of fresh pastries at a hometown price. Our two certified culinary chefs design and create incredible cakes. We showcase our cakes, froyo cakes, cupcakes, cookies, pies, and chocolate covered strawberries offered fresh daily. Love <laughs> Goody two scoops. If you drive buzzed, it could cost you around $10,000. You'll face major legal fees, major fines, and steep insurance penalties. You could lose everything. Buzzed, busted, and broke. Because buzz driving is drunk driving. Welcome back. A Winchester woman is dead following an alleged violent weekend home invasion and shooting incident in Bedford County. Authorities say Crystal Hall, age 46, died from a gunshot wound to the head during the Saturday morning attack at a home in the Fairfield community off Highway 64 outside Shelbyville. The victim's estranged husband, James T. Hall, age 48, is charged with first-degree murder in connection with the incident. Investigators say James Hall drove to the home where his wife had sought refuge with friends Saturday morning. He allegedly shot his way through a door and then killed his wife with a single shot to the head as others in the house scramble for safety. A 12-year-old girl living there hid in a closet and called 911 for help. James Hall surrendered to Bedford County deputies at the scene. Sheriff Austin Swing says the fatal attack is a case of domestic violence stretched to the maximum. The Shelbyville Times Gazette says Hall is being held without bond and is set, or was set rather, for a preliminary court hearing this uh, Monday morning. Manchester Fire Chief George DeShields submitted his resignation on Monday. DeShields had come under fire recently from members of the Manchester Board of Mayor and Aldermen. Mayor Norman had asked for the resignation of DeShields last week, but did not provide details. The Manchester Fire and Rescue Facebook page posted a letter from the former chief on Monday morning. DeShields said in the letter that he, that he did not resign because of work performance issues, but resigned for his family because they chose not to continue to live under a microscope of scrutiny. DeShields also said, quote, I admit and own the mistake that is personal in nature, a mistake that never impacted my ability to carry out my duties and responsibilities as your fire chief, a mistake that the details should have and will continue to remain between my wife, me, and the other parties involved, end quote. DeShields added, quote, my family will remain active in this community and continue to do all we know, and that is to help others and do it with a Manchester strong attitude, end quote. 
Tennessee tax collections again exceeded the budgeted estimates in February. Department of Finance and Administrative Commissioner Larry Martin says that overall February revenues were $787.2 million, which is $25.8 million more than the state budgeted for the month. On an accrual basis, February is the seventh month in the 2014-2015 physical year. The general fund was overcollected by $13.1 million and the four other funds were overcollected by $12.7 million. Sales tax collections were $17.9 million more than the estimate for February. The February growth rate was a positive 7.62%. The year-to-date growth rate for seven months is a positive 6.86%. Year-to-date collections for seven months were $369.7 million more than the budgeted estimate. The general fund was overcollected by $336.5 million and the four other funds were overcollected by $33.2 million. The budgeted revenue estimates for 2014-2015 are based on the state's funding board consensus recommendation of, the December, uh, of December 17, 2013 and adopted by the second session of the 108th General Assembly in April 2014. The University of Tennessee Space Institute will present a Women's History Celebration tomorrow, March 18th at 1.30 p.m. in the UTSI Auditorium. Featured guest speaker will be Senator Thelma Harper of the Tennessee General Assembly. The program will include special music and a reception following. The UTSI celebration is free and open to the public. You may contact the UTSI Human Resources Office at 931-393-7226 with any questions. We'll be back in a moment with more news later on 6. The wait is finally over. The 2015 50th anniversary Ford Mustang is finally here. This is one awesome vehicle. Let me give you a few stats on this V8 Mustang. 435 horsepower, independent rear suspension, 25 miles per gallon, and this is the one you've been waiting for. 0 to 60 in 4.4 seconds. Don't blink an eye or you'll miss it. Come by Russell Barnett Ford of Tullahoma and Winchester and check it out. The 2015 Mustang, the all-new redesign, will leave you speechless. Let the smokehouse be your mountain getaway destination in beautiful Monteagle, Tennessee. Enjoy our cabins, restaurant, and old general store. Shop the smokehouse.com featuring homemade barbecue sauces, jellies, and many other fine Tennessee products. Our live Music on the Mountain series features some of the best local and Nashville talent every Friday and Saturday night, 6.30 p.m. No cover, kids welcome. good can overcome. That is where your contributions to the Salvation Army go. Welcome back. On Saturday, we stopped by Northgate Mall to, in Tullahoma to check out the health fair. News leaders Philip Scoggin spoke with Ava Lynch, marketing director for Harton Regional Medical Center, about why they co-sponsored the event and what they hope to accomplish during the health fair. We also stopped by several other booths Harton was running at the event. Hello, I'm Ava Lynch, marketing director for Harton Regional Medical Center here in Tullahoma. We're so excited to be part of the uh, health fair and fitness expo today. We're a very proud partner with the city of Tullahoma and their healthier Tennessee communities. We also partner with the Coffee County Health Department in many of the campaigns rolling because those healthy interests are also uh, our healthy interest at the hospital. Today we have several tables and booths and education and screenings going on. Um, at the Women's Center they're promoting breastfeeding with the Coffee County Health Department. Smoking is a big problem uh, with pregnant moms, also the damage it does to children, so we can do education there and in our childbirth classes. The uh, health center uh, and our emergency department, which is a, an accredited chest pain center, has a table with heart health information. Uh, Morrison, our food and nutrition department at the hospital is here, and they are um, spreading healthy eating for heart and also if you're diabetic. And then we have our cardiopulmonary respiratory department. 
We have a core measure this year, smoking cessation, helping the patients that are in our hospital um, get the resources they need to stop smoking, but we want to expand that, working with the Coffee County Drug Coalition and the Health Department, and be able to offer some classes for the community at the hospital. And then our rehab department also has a table. They're promoting uh, fitness, exercise, balance, dizziness, which all plays into a healthier person. Uh, the folks that smoke will need to quit or slow it down if they're going to participate in exercise and become healthier. And we also have our wound healing center here. They tie into heart health and diabetes, doing a neuropathy screening on the feet. And we just hope that by our participation and all that the Coffee County Health Department is doing, that we can help Mayor Curley and Winston Brooks and all the folks here at the city uh, put us at the top of the list as being a healthy community. I want to mention our patient portal. Uh, if you're an inpatient at Heart and Regional, you have access online in your home to your medical records. You can forward to your physician, things like that. Uh, we hope you don't need us, but when you do, um, come to see us, Harton Regional Medical Center. Hi, my name is Mark Lynn. I'm part of the Wound Healing Center at Harton Regional Medical Center, and what we're doing here today is screening for uh, neuropathic disease, which is a loss of sensation in the feet, uh, typical for folks with ha that uh, have diabetes. Uh, basically, what we do is we utilize a very light touch to determine whether or not uh, folks have that sensation and if they uh, if they do that's actually a good sign uh, if they don't uh, our suggestion would be to uh, to get to a family physician podiatrist someone like that that can intervene on this hi this is Wanda Randolph from Harton and I have here with me Tammy Lynchburg Valerie Rose um, and we are here promoting breastfeeding um, I'm a counselor breastfeeding counselor at the hospital and these ladies are at the health department and they work with um, breastfeeding mamas after they leave our care and we're just here um, letting moms know how important it is to breastfeed and uh, how um, helpful it is for their baby and some things that they can do to help promote that as their baby grows and um, gets bigger. We also have some information about safe sleep um, and information about diabetes and pregnancy. Good morning. Um, this is the Harton Regional Medical Center uh, Heart Center table. We're educating folks on stroke and heart attack um, and what you can do to reduce your risk factors. We're also providing some blood pressure screens. My name is Alicia Jackson. I work in the ER at Harton. And my name is Tara Mann. I'm also a nurse in the emergency room at Harton Regional. Hi, my name is Noy Fraker. I'm a physical therapist from the Harton Medical Center. We are here today uh, showing people how a vision affects your balance. Um, along with that, we've got goggles that take away part of your vision, um, especially when you have a stroke. And then we've got them throwing a corn toss to see how functional they are or how we they can see how it really affects their function. Uh, along with us today are Ed Moyers. He's a physical therapist that specializes with back and neck. And we've got our student Herb who's dressed up as Iron Man to encourage the little boys and girls that come in today to exercise. And we've got Vivian. He's a, she's a physical therapist assistant that works uh, in our inpatient, works with all different kinds of diagnosis. My name is Jamie Brown. I'm one of the respiratory therapists at Heart Regional Medical Center. And we're just encouraged encouraging people today to uh, cut back or uh, quit smoking. We've got pamphlets and, and mints. We're just encouraging people that smoking is not healthy uh, over the long term and all the um, effects that it does to the body. We'll be right back after these messages. Hi, I'm John Greenwood. Let me tell you a few of the ways our parts and service team is committed to keeping your vehicle in top condition. Factory trained, certified technicians and ASE certified who can service all makes and models. Everyday low price oil change of $29.95 with a free 16 point vehicle inspection. For your convenience, schedule your next service appointment at stanmcnab.com. We'll get you in and out. Back on the road with peace of mind. Stan McNabb Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram, 1200 East Carroll, right here in Tullahoma, Tennessee. 
All right, the cat's out of the bag at Carroll Street Liquor in Tullahoma. Now you know where to go if you're planning a get-together and want the ideal wine or spirit. Party planning can be stressful, but at Carroll Street Liquor you'll find everything you need. Mixers, gift sets, and all of your favorite spirit brands. So if you're feeling the pressure to pull off the ideal party, come to Carroll Street Liquor and select among the seemingly endless supply of wines, spirits, gift sets, and more. Your perfect party, it's in the bag with Carroll Street Liquors. Welcome back. The annual What I Like About Tullahoma celebration was held last Thursday night at South Jackson Civic Center. Young people from each class in grade school were recognized for their submission to the contest. Let's watch video from that event. It is my pleasure to welcome you to the 12th What I Like Most About Tullahoma contest and reception. This is our effort to encourage the elementary school students of our public schools in Tullahoma to slow down a minute and think about their hometown and what it means to them. We have some incredible entries this year, all of which demonstrate our young people's imagination and their ability to express their thoughts, either in prose or in graphic form. Through their eyes, we now have a better understanding of what they like and appreciate in their hometown. This year, we had over 1,200 entries thanks to the support of our principals, staff, administration, school board, and certainly our teachers. I'm very proud of all these entries and proud of our young people. I challenge you to keep up the good work and continue to do good things in your community. I'm going to ask that all the fair frogs that are here tonight that, that participate in one in the program uh, to, to meet right over here in the corner of the stage, okay? And here's our resident fair frog. <laughs> And then in a minute, we'll, we'll call each child's name, and Dr. Blanks will uh, present them a certificate and, and two gifts. Dr. Blanks. Fellow fair frogs, I'm proud of you. Woo! Dr. Blanks, if you'll join your fellow fair frogs over here. Um, <coughs> Mr. Chris Barstead with the <coughs> News is here and is going to take a photograph. And then let's have... Congratulate everyone on um, your winners and those upcoming winners, as I noticed there are a lot of the younger ones here tonight as well, so we congratulate you. East Lincoln has a special place in my heart. I volunteered there for 12 or 21 years now, so um, I really enjoy being able to go over there and um, have a special place in, in that school, even though I actually went to South Jackson, which is hard to believe, many years ago. So um, I, I want to congratulate our winners. So here we go. Okay, let's get our uh, Robert E. Lee. I appreciate all of you. Never underestimate your role as part of the support system. Whether you be a parent, a grandparent, an aunt, uncle, or just a friend, or a principal, or a teacher. It's uh, so important that you're here, that you're part of, of the, the child's life. So, it's my pleasure to uh, hand these out, and I'll do it with them. First, I'd like to say it's an honor and a privilege for me to make this presentation, and I want to congratulate you all. Everyone is a winner. Every time you participate in something, you are a winner. Thank you, Armin Duncan. Let's do uh, all of our uh, Bill Air Bs here. Uh, the first one, one of the grand prize winners, I hate to say it, it's not here, it was Joanne House. So, I don't know what school. Is that Bel Air? Okay, so we'll get this to her. The next one I know is here because I saw him come in. His name is Justin Sells.
Thanks everyone for being here tonight. We appreciate the work that these students have done. Hope everyone has a great week in Tullahoma. Thank you. We'll be right back with more News Leader on 6. We're losing it, Doctor. Not on my shift quickly. Brush. Roller. What a transformation. It's going to be okay. Okay, nothing. At Paintworks of Tullahoma, we specialize in domestic emergencies with Martin Senior Paints. You can be the paint doctor, too, when you treat your home with Martin Senior interior and exterior finishes. Doctor, we've got another one. Got you covered. Paintworks of Tullahoma. Come see the paint doctor stat. When your family suffers the loss of a loved one, the caring and compassionate staff at Tullahoma Funeral Home and Coffee County Funeral Chapel are standing by to assist you in every way possible. We are proud to support local industry and offer only Batesville caskets. Many funeral homes don't own or operate a crematory. We utilize the only crematory in Coffee County. Your loved one never leaves Coffee County. We can accommodate any need and any budget. Consider our complete pre-need service to remove this burden from your family during their time of grief. Lock in today's low costs and protect from inflation. Tullahoma Funeral Home and Coffee County Funeral Chapel. Our family caring for your family. So you've been meaning to do something healthy, commune with nature, get outdoors and meet new people. We have the perfect solution. Come hike with us. You can find the Tennessee Trails Association chapter near you including Clarksville, Columbia Franklin, Cove Lake, Highland Rim, Jackson, Knoxville, Oak Ridge, Martin Weekly, Memphis, Murfreesboro, Nashville, Plateau at Crossville, Rugby in the Big South Fork and Upper Cumberland. We're on the web at TennesseeTrails.org. It's fun, it's stress free and it's good for you. See you on the trails. Welcome back. Tom Corrington spoke recently with Dr. Mary Lou Apple, president of Motlow College. Dr. Apple is retiring soon after nine years as president of Motlow. In this video, Dr. Apple talks about how she got into the field of education. Greetings, folks, and uh, we're talking today with uh, Dr. Mary Lou Apple, uh, president of Motlow, who will be stepping down at the end of June. And uh, she's been a very great asset for us, and uh, we wanted to talk about some of the things she's uh, been doing and may be doing in the future. And I was just interested in a bit of background that I hadn't picked up on before that, uh, uh, well, tell the folks uh, briefly, you started out nursing. I did, I graduated from the University of Tennessee with my RN degree and went immediately into a hospital setting and did a little bit on the med surge floor and then uh, basically a longer tenure in the operating room in the emergency room and it was while I was working at the hospital that the local community college had nursing students in my area and they would ask if you would mentor uh, students and let them go with you and supervise some of those and I did that for a couple of years I really enjoyed being with the students I really liked the mission of the community college you know you had the adult students and you had the younger students and just I really liked the mission of it being open mm -hmm. and available for everyone yeah. so I decided I might teach for a couple of years <laughs> And then that just led right on to many, many years of yeah, being in the educational world. That happened to be a, turned out to be a permanent switch. It did. From nursing to teaching. Dr. Apple, let's, let's let you hold forth and uh, talk to the folks about uh, some of the things that have happened that you're proud of and maybe some you wish had gone better or whatever, whatever the uh, highlights as you see them. Well, I will have to say this has been just a highlight in my career to be here and in the community and with this college. I've um, read about Motlow and actually visited down here several times with a, a dear friend, Susan Sanders, when she was a nursing instructor and director of the program here. So I knew a, a, some about Motlow. I always really liked the campus and uh, what they were doing. So it was uh, really a highlight for me to be able to come here and serve at the end of my career. But students have always been at the center of everything we do. So I guess when I think about what we have done right during these years, I think we have uh, promoted and provided a lot of opportunities for our students. And, and some of those are honors program, which a lot of people do not realize that we have, but we have a large number of honor students. They could choose to go anywhere with their scores, with their uh, knowledge base, but they like coming to Motlow because they have close relationships with faculty that are truly interested in uh, 
having discussions with them and, and talking about careers and talking about the value of their discipline. And, and they like that relationship with our faculty. So I think that's, we've really boosted the uh, number of scholarships in our honors program, the activities that they have, the number of credits they can achieve. And I think we, we're seeing the results of great faculty, great students, when um, Middle Tennessee has an honors college, MTSU does, and they give out 15 full scholarships for that program. And Motlow has consistently been earning uh, two-thirds to one-half, 50 percent of those scholarships from our, our wow. students. <laughs> so they really recognize the value and the quality of our honors program. Yeah. Don't forget to tune in to this week's Living Show tonight at 6.30 p.m., Thursday morning at 9, and Thursday, Friday, and Saturday evenings at 6.30 p.m. This week's guests include representatives from Horseplay who have rescheduled their luncheon to, uh, to this weekend, and we'll also speak with the Manchester American Legion who are having, the fi having a fish fry this weekend. All that and more on this week's Living. We'll be right back with your weather forecast. Are you tired of getting those letters in the mail being turned down for that new car due to bankruptcy? medical expenses, or divorce, then look no further than Russell Barnett Kia. Good credit, bad credit, no problem. Here at Russell Barnett Kia, we are your bank. Dial 931-455-6066 or visit us on the web at russellbarnett.com. And remember, we are the bank and we can help you. Good credit, bad credit, no problem. Why buy anywhere else? You made the time and the sacrifice to broaden their horizons, to see their smiles, but mostly to make lifelong memories. We think it's time to do it again, just the two of you. Don't let illness or injury slow you down. The rehab team at Life Care Center of Tullahoma is ready to help you live well. Serving you as a local firefighter, Proudly served our country in the United States Air Force. Serving Tullahoma. Helping our kids. Hi, I'm Terry Stroop. Your comfort is our service. We'd like to thank Tullahoma for the privilege of serving your heating and cooling needs. All right, the cat's out of the bag at Carroll Street Liquor in Tullahoma. Now you know where to go if you're planning a get-together and want the ideal wine or spirit. Party planning can be stressful, but at Carroll Street Liquor you'll find everything you need. Mixers, gift sets, and all of your favorite spirit brands. So if you're feeling the pressure to pull off the ideal party, come to Carroll Street Liquor and select among the seemingly endless supply of wines, spirits, gift sets, and more. Your perfect party, it's in the bag with Carroll Street Liquors. Welcome back. We'll take a look at your weather forecast at this time, starting with your weather history on this day. Our record high was in 1963 at 80 degrees. Record low was in 1941 at 19 degrees. Average high on this day is 60, and the average low is 37. Tonight, look for partly cloudy weather with a low of around 41. Mostly cloudy weather in the forecast for Wednesday with a high of 58 and a low of 46 and some rain moving into your forecast on Thursday with a high of 55 and a low of 46. And Jim, we hope all of our viewers out there have a happy and safe St. Patrick's Day today. That's right. And if you're celebrating, most likely you'll run into my colleague. Andrew Todd, because he loves to celebrate <laughs> any day. <laughs> That's our news leader report for this evening, ladies and gentlemen. We invite you to watch News Leader on 6 each Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday at 6, 8, and 10. You have a good evening. Have a great evening.